Hey everyone, what's up? It's me. Maker Kun, back with another video. Today's video is about MOSFETs. I'm gonna show you guys how exactly you can use a MOSFET with or without a microcontroller. For this, I'm gonna use IRFZ44N and IRF9540N power MOSFETs which I bought from UTSource.net. UTSource is an online platform where you can buy electronics components like chip resistors, capacitors, IC, microcontrollers, and MOSFETs. Visit UTSource today for buying electronics components for a reasonable price. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna use this 12 volt LED as load and for toggling this load, I'll be using IRFZ44N power MOSFET with minimal config. Let me tell you few things about IRFZ44N MOSFET, which you can find in its datasheet. The IRFZ44N is a hexfit power MOSFET which is rated for 55 volt and 49 amps. It can operate at temperature of 175 degrees Celsius, it have a fast switching rate and have max gate to source voltage of 20 volts. Ok, let's continue. Let's put everything we need on breadboard. First, a connector for 12 volt battery. And then the IRFZ44N MOSFET. Now let's wire everything together according to this scheme. Negative of load to drain of MOSFET. Source of MOSFET to ground of battery connector. Positive of battery connector to positive of load. Now add a 10 kilo ohm resistor to gate of MOSFET. And add two wires to positive and negative of battery. So we can connect them with resistor to turn on off the load. By connecting positive terminal of battery to gate of MOSFET through resistor, load turns on. By connecting negative terminal of battery to gate of MOSFET through resistor, load turns off. It's pretty simple and basic thing to remember as almost every switching circuit works by this procedure. Not by toggling gate of MOSFET manually, they use microcontroller or driver IC for this process. Let me show you guys how to control this MOSFET to toggle a 12 volt load by using a microcontroller. Wiring of MOSFET will remain same, we only have to connect the source of MOSFET with ground of microcontroller. And the 10K resistor which is connected to gate of MOSFET with digital pin 13. And that's it. Now let's upload the famous blink sketch to our microcontroller board. Eventually. And our setup is working. Now as you might guessed, can we control the gate of MOSFET with a PWM signal to increase or decrease the brightness of our load? Answer is yes. We can do that. Let's upload fade sketch from example sketches to our board. Here's the result, our load is fading in and out. At this point, you have learned the basics of using a MOSFET in your project to toggle loads which you cannot usually connect with your microcontroller directly along with few more stuff. Now let me show you guys how to use this IRF9540P channel MOSFET with an microcontroller in similar way like IRFZ44N. Setup will be same, 12 volt LED will be our load. Now wire everything according to this scheme. P channel MOSFETs gate needed a 0 volts or ground signal to activate the load, because the flow of current is reversed in P channel in compare with N channel MOSFET, so we cannot just directly hook it up with our microcontroller and call it a day. In order to toggle the gate of this MOSFET and connect it with ground and then disconnect it, we need to use a NPN transistor here. I got this BC546 NPN transistor which will do the trick. And yes, you can find this on utsource.net. 
wire everything according to this scheme. And that's basically it. Now upload Blink Sketch and voila! Our setup is blinking, just like the irfz 44 n setup. Now let's upload Fade Sketch. Yup, it's working like last time too. And that's basically how you can use irfz 44 n and irf 9540 MOSFET with or without a microcontroller. Well then, peace out, and keep making stuff.